A touch of Hollywood and the Holy City. Woody Allen's latest film, To Rome with Love, opened Jerusalem's 29th annual film festival. The tapestry of four complicated love stories didn't generate the same rave reviews as Allen's hit Midnight in Paris, but the decision to have it open the festival nonetheless paid homage to one of the greatest Jewish filmmakers today. Nearly 200 features, documentaries, shorts and animated films will be showcased during the 10-day cinema extravaganza. Films from all over the world will be shown, but the festival's strength is showcasing new Israeli films. The films that are coming out of this country are so beautiful and so cutting edge and really lend a voice that's unique in the world of cinema. And um, I love Israeli film. I think it just, it's so, so much depth and so many different stories, really, because like New York, Israel is a melting pot. And everyone has different experiences. It comes from a different uh, place. And obviously, as you know, the movies don't have to be about politics and they don't have to be about war or peace. They can be about love and family and life and dating and just anything. So it's great. Israeli filmmakers get to screen their work, take part in the festival's film competition, and collaborate with other top-name filmmakers from around the world in a film lab or workshop series. This film festival may not be as famous as Cannes or Venice, but it's from here that some of the most important Israeli films launch onto the international film scene. For example, Beaufort and Ajami both debuted at the Jerusalem Film Festival and then made it all the way to Hollywood where they were nominated in the Best Foreign Film category for Oscars. Industry insiders, international filmmakers, producers and distributors now come looking for what might be the next breakout Israeli film. This year, all eyes were on God's Neighbors, which just won a Best Screenplay Award at the Cannes Film Festival. The fast-paced and gritty movie follows three young Orthodox men in Bat Yam who decide to form their own moral or God squad. They decide to police their neighborhood against those who don't respect the religious values, including Arabs and less religious Jews. The testosterone-driven trio comes undone when one of them falls for a girl who questions the religious culture they're so desperately trying to hold up. Buzz also surrounded a film that transports viewers back into the heart of an authentic and rich Israeli Middle Eastern culture. In the ballad of the weeping spring, the dying wish of a friend brings a group of Mizrahi musicians together for a concert, but the music accompanies them all the way through the journey as each musician's story unfolds. In the documentary category, Numbered got praise for exploring how Holocaust survivors, their children and grandchildren reinvent the meaning of the numbers the Nazis branded on the flesh of their victims. Some of the most talked about new international films were also screened, like the Chilean film From Thursday Until Sunday, which just took a top prize at the Rotterdam Festival. Set mostly in a car, the viewer witnesses the last knot of a marriage and a family suddenly unravel in a weekend family trip. There's a lot of films from Asia. There's really films from all over the world, you know. There's, there's a section here also which is new this year, and it's called Our Friends and Neighbors. And it's films from the Middle East, other countries from Iran, Algeria, um, and it's, it's really interesting. They've always had films from Arab filmmakers and from the rest of the Middle East, but they never actually set it aside in a special section and I think that that's interesting. There's an, already a documentary about the, um, the Cairo, the Tahir Square uprising and there's, so, so you can already see that. The strong man is the one who can control himself when he's angry. My Brother the Devil, which just won a cinematography award at the Cannes Film Festival, was a favorite in this new category. It tells the story of two British-born Egyptian brothers who get sucked into London's gang life. This year's selection of films, from Israeli to international, did not disappoint. It's important to be, to be in this place and that Europe and everybody knows that we have here a great film festival and it's just with an amazing Israeli films and new stuff. Time to catch another film. I'm Jordana Miller for JN1 in Jerusalem.